Well, hello there. Hi, Lupus Warriors. Good evening and welcome to the Laura's Lupus channel. And tonight I wanted to pop in and I wanted to bring you a quick video discussing some lupus facts regarding how lupus could be impacting your nervous system. And so tonight's video is going to be entitled Lupus Facts Neurological Impact. Before we jump into the video, let's first of all do an overview of what the nervous system consists of. As we know with lupus, the disease called lupus, it loves to impact systems, organs, and diseases. And your nervous system is a system all by itself. So the nervous system is broken down into two parts your central nervous system, and your peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system involves the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system involves your nerves and your muscles. So how does lupus impact your nervous system? What are the 10 signs and symptoms that there is something going on with your nervous system? Let's get into it, okay? Sign number one could be headaches and migraines. Sign number two could be dizziness when standing or walking. Number three could be ringing in the ears, and this could be consistently or occasionally. Number four is pain, and pain has a category all by itself. And so for tonight's purposes, pain and tingling is going to be under the same category. But up under the, the umbrella of pain and tingling, it involves tingling and pain in the hands and the feet. Also, it can involve facial pain, uh, such as in the jaw area or facial pain in your cheeks or anywhere around your ears, okay, in the ear area. Also, it involves pain in the neck or the back, and that could be the lower, middle, or upper back. Number five, blurred vision. Blurred vision. Number six, slurred speech. Now, this is a serious one. If you find there's some changes in your speech or your speech um, is starting to slur a little bit, make sure that you make an appointment with your doctor uh, and discuss that. Any of these signs and symptoms that I'm talking about tonight, if they become problematic in your life, you know, make sure that you discuss these symptoms with your doctor. If you have a neurologist, which is a doctor that treats any type of issues with the nerves, uh, make sure you discuss that with the neurologist that you're, you know, you're having some of these signs and symptoms. And especially, you know, uh, if I point out to you some of the things that's considered serious and slurred speech is a serious one. So if you're experiencing that, talk to your doctor right away. Number seven involves muscle weakness, such as tremors, cramping, and spasms. A lot of times it happens in the hands, but it could occur anywhere in the body. Okay, uh, number eight, sign number eight, changes in your sense of smell. Number nine could involve anxiety and depression. Okay, anxiety and, and depression uh, could also mean that there's something going on with your nervous system. Number 10, last but not least, and this one is very serious, my friend. So if you experience seizures, or any type of a loss of consciousness at any time, don't walk, run, contact your doctor as soon as possible, make an appointment, um, and hopefully, you know, you can get a referral if you don't have a neurologist as a part of your lupus team. Um, your primary care physician can refer you to see a neurologist if you experience, again, like I said, slurred speech, uh, seizures or loss of consciousness, you know, or any of those three in a combination, you know, make sure that you, you know, immediately consult a doctor. So um, these 10 signs and symptoms, you know, doesn't really necessarily mean that, you know, it's connected to lupus, you know, as with any signs and symptoms, you know, um, they can overlap with different diseases. 
So right now, as far as it impacting lupus, that's what I discussed tonight. But all of these signs and symptoms could be a sign of any other disease. They overlap, okay? But just to give you an overview that something could be going on, lupus could be active in your, in your nervous system, these are some of the things that would start to manifest if it was, okay? So as I say at the end of every video, there is life after lupus. I want you guys to take care of yourself, stay strong, stay safe, do everything you can to stay as healthy as possible, and my friend, stay blessed. Before I let you go, if you enjoy the content of my YouTube channel, if you enjoy you know, the information that I provide on the Laura's Lupus channel, please take the time, if you haven't, to subscribe, hit that like button, Hit the bell so that you receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Make sure that you share the information. By sharing the information, you are spreading the message of hope. You're getting the information out there and making lupus, you know, um, aware. You know, you're bringing about lupus awareness to the public. You know, and you're impacting and, you know, giving hope to lupus warriors all around the world, to lupus survivors all around the world. And then also leave a comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much for, um, you know, stopping by my channel. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for uh, finding something that I have to say informative, useful, resourceful, helpful, encouraging. You know, even if I, you know, I gave you something that encouraged your soul tonight, well, then I've done my job as a lupus advocate. I've done my job. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. I love you guys. I appreciate you. So take care. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.